saying? Yeah, Motherfucker, shit just kept me so motherfucking mad because you know that was my nigga, you know? And like, I had just got the nigga Puff card and shit. Yeah. I knew the shit was about to go down, and my man was like hyping me. Like, everywhere it go, me and OB, me and OB together. And a nigga be like, watch, I'm telling you, when my man get on, it's gonna be some shit. We ain't gonna have to sell this shit no more, I'm telling you. Right. And a nigga just got moped out like that, man. Yeah. That shit fucked me up, man. Shit fucked a whole lot of niggas up. Yeah. I love that nigga, oh, two, that was my motherfucking heart. Yeah. yeah. Dedicate this to my nigga, oh. This nigga. Went out to all the young niggas that died and struggled. Yeah. Yeah. Back in the days before I saw any crack cocaine, I was playing point guard, drawing fouls, going to the lane. At the time, my eyes was only set on getting accepted to Syracuse or getting a scholarship to Duquesne. It wasn't until my father got killed that I quit giving a damn. That's really when the little kid in me became a man. I guess reality had sunk in, cause in my head all I can hear was my daddy saying I had to provide the best way I can. That's when I went and bought an eight ball of fish scale. Now how in the hell can anybody else tell me I'm wrong for making money even though it did come off cocaine sales? Actually, I got so good at moving grams, I could practically eyeball seven in my hand. But without direction from a man, who else did I have to learn and listen to besides the ones outside on the court and doing the same shit I am? Sometimes my uncles try, but they had their own babies to raise. So to fix the problem, I just took on the role of my father instead. And enough years done passed to where now my tears turn to laughs. So to the day I return to Claire and Ash, I'ma just continue to substitute as Simone and Ashley's dad. Love you always and we miss you bad. Crazy. Uh-huh. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. BA. Uh.